Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Indian Army wants to acquire 1750 futuristic infantry combat vehicles with state of art weapons and capable of swiftly transporting soldiers through a new Make in India project in the years ahead. Out of the total quantities, around 55% is going to be gun version and balance would be specialist vehicles. The expected cost of the project is around Rs 60,000 crore. The Army has issued an RFI request for information on 23rd June 2021 to identify provable Indian vendors who are capable of commencing supply of the track FICVs within two years of the contract being inked. As per the RFI, the tracked FICVs will be employed for cross-country operations including amphibious ones in plains and deserts along the Pakistan front as well as mountainous terrains and high altitude areas on the China one. The FICVs should have weapon system capable of destroying enemy tanks, armored personal carriers, low-flying helicopters and other ground-based weapon platforms and positions. The tracked vehicles should provide protected mobility to its crew and troops in different terrains including CBRN, chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear environment. The Army also wants FICV to be equipped with at least a 30mm main gun, minimum 30mm auto grenade launcher, minimum 7.62mm coaxial gun and 4 ready to fire 4th generation anti-tank guided missiles beside being capable of carrying at least 8 soldiers. The FICV should have capability to carry lottery munitions, mini drones which can be used along with eastern, central and northern borders. The FICVs should have an operational life of at least 32 years with a maximum one overhaul or repair intervention and be capable of being transported by existing in-service transport vehicles of Army, Indian Air Force transport aircraft and broad gauge railway military bogies. Indian Army has proposed three-stage induction model for the FICV. In stage one, the limited series of vehicles will be delivered over a period of two years. The LSP will cover 10% of total number of vehicles, that is 350 vehicles. In stage two, further improvements will be made in FICV. It will cover 40% of the total number of vehicles, that is 700 FICV, will be delivered over a period of six to seven years. In stage 3, further improvements will be made in the vehicle and remaining FICVs, that is 700 of them, will be delivered. After the response to RFI is received, acceptance of necessity will be issued followed by RFP. Now, if you look for the contenders for the RFI, it includes Rossborn export from Russia, German Rhein Metal, South Korea Hanwha Defense, and Leonardo of Italy. The Indian vendors include erstwhile OFB, BEML, Mahindra Group, Ashokland, Larson and Tubro, Reliance, Bharat Forge and Tata. DRDO is also working on the FICV program with the help of Army Design Bureau. Once the design is finalized, it will be collaborating with private industry as a production agency. If you look at the requirement of FICV, no OEM at present has the vehicle which has all these features. However, the technology required is available with DRDO. DRDO will tie up with LNT for the development and production of the FICV, which has also emerged as a winner in L1 bid of DRDO for FICV program. LNT has already constructed first armored system complex at Hazira, where 100 K and Vajra were produced and has capability to build future vehicles such as FICV, light and main battle tanks. The chassis of the FICV was revealed during the inauguration of ASC at Hazira to PM Narendra Modi, which you can see on the screen. The major feature of LNT's FICV is going to be an unmanned modular turret made up of composite armor, which drastically reduces its weight 
and can be upgraded in future if needed. It will feature a 30mm main gun with 200 rounds ready to fire and a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun with 1000 rounds ready to fire. It will also have two launchers for 5th generation fire and forget anti-tank missiles. The FICV will also have five smoke grenade launchers. It will feature third generation thermal imaging stabilized sight with laser range finder. While the weapon system of FICV seems quite similar to BMP2, but they can be remotely controlled and feature advanced integrated fire control system for all weapons. The vehicle will have a STNAG level 4 protection. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.